Oh, there we go. Hey, there we go, Sam. Oh, yeah, here we go. There you go. Welcome to Benny on the Border. There we go. Do you want to know about open borders today? We got you. This is your difference. This is what Trump built. And then we swing around here. This is what Biden's building. Little sheds. Little shanty sheds. Welcome stations. Who do you trust? The people who've lied to you for the last hundred years in your political establishment? Or your own two eyes that God gave you? Boom! There it is. Your open border. The border is secure. The border is closed. It's wide open right now. It, it's wide open. You don't even have to sneak. You just walk. Welcome to the southern border, the border of the United States and Mexico. This is a special edition of Benny on the Border. We've changed the name of the show because we are in crisis. This country is in crisis. I currently stand on top of a pile of unbuilt wall. Good, solid steel wall sitting rotting in the desert. Today, you are going to see a show that shocks you. You are going to see a show that absolutely exposes the corruption and the cruelty of the people in charge of this country. The political establishment that wants you less safe, we will show you with your own two eyes how they are making sure that your country is less safe. Your neighborhood, your life, your children at risk and creating a modern day slave state inside of America. Their cruelty knows no bounds, Get ready for this episode of Benny on the Border. We're going to build the wall. It's going to be built. Donald Trump's wall. President Trump, here it is. This is what it looks like. Look at this. Just a pile, a pile of rusting wall. This wall, could have been put up in a month and closed down this entire section of the border to human traffickers and smugglers. The size of this thing, you got it sitting here, rusting in the desert. Mexico is right over there. And here's multi millions of dollars of wall rusting in the desert. Why? Because we didn't have the money? Because we don't have the manpower? No, Sam. No, no. Because when Joe Biden became president, he told the men who were working here on this site to stop. They sat in trailers and got paid by our federal government and our tax dollars to do nothing, to not build this wall. All of the material is here. You can see it with your own two eyeballs. Do you have eyes to see? Come and see. Look at this. You have miles of fence sitting here. This is miles. They're like five rows deep, straight down the corridor. Miles, miles, miles of fence. That works. You can see it up, rotting. They had the manpower. They had the contracts in place. They had the people. And now look, Sam, there you go. There's your border. You ever seen anything like it? Look at that. There is your open border, Libs. There's no open border, they say. Who do you trust? The people who have lied to you for the last hundred years in your political establishment? Or your own two eyes that God gave you? Boom. There it is, your open border. There will not be another foot of wall constructed on my administration. Okay, explain, what is this structure? So we affectionately call these the bus stops. And a lot of people that will come across during the day will actually come over here, wait in the 
uh, in the shade. Uh, there's water always here for the people that are coming across. Uh, and then, then this is where they'll discard their debris. They're processed. You'll see uh, the plastic processing bags down below where they'll fill out their paperwork. Uh, then that is, um, th then th that is returned to them. They hop into the bus and they're taken up to uh, head sector headquarters where they're continued to be processed. Well, it's time for the Biden administration to act. The drugs and crime that we're seeing rising in our states and flooding over the border is infecting our schools and neighborhoods. Sam, instead of building the wall, the Biden administration has built the Welcome Center for illegal migrant smuggling and cartels. Look at this. Pay lecterns to process your paperwork. Water for the trip. Here are some pesos on top of the water bottle. Top of the water jug here. We got pesos left. Little thank you. Piles of trash. Piles of trash. Children's blankets. I mean, it's a Disney blanket, right? It's dystopian. You got a Disney blanket here from a kid. Who knows where this kid's from? Has this kid been sold by his parents? Who knows? There's their Disney blanket coming to America. All alone, five undocumented girls from Honduras and Guatemala discovered by a Texas farmer who gave them water and food in the sweltering heat. They come across, they wait right here till the process. Border Patrol will show up with a bus two or three times during the day. In the hottest parts of the year, like right now, they're waiting till about 11 o'clock at night. So between 11 and 2, they'll come across. They'll again wait in these areas unless they're trying to run away. Um, and that's what they estimate to be about 5 to 10% of the, the actual traffic is, is running away. So 10% of the 1.4 million, 10% on top of that? Yes. That's their best guess. And that's just looking at the footprints, trying to establish how many people were in that group. All of this ground, um, they'll drag it two or three times a day so that they can look at the trafficking uh, coming across. Um, they're running cameras and then they're, they've got the ground sensors. Uh, <clears throat> so you may not necessarily see a truck, but then there's always eyes on this area. That just wouldn't do it. So now we have a world-class security system at the border, including the highest technology. Sam, come here with me. Look at this. Look at how effective this wall. Here is the correctly installed wall, yes? John? This is the correctly, Johnny Yuma says, this is correctly installed wall. Here's what you have. This is what the wall was supposed to look like. Not rotting in the desert, upright. The wall is in cement. It's deep down into the ground. It's hard as a rock. Sucker is tall, 30 feet plus. There's no way over that. I mean, there's no way over that. Maybe you could get some type of sophisticated contraption, but you ain't getting over that in mass. And this thing's gonna stop you. Look at this thing. When effectively installed, this is your deterrent, Sam. This is it. This is the wall. It's like this anywhere. There's no place has anything like this or even close to it. This is your difference. This is what Trump built and then we swing around here. This is what Biden's building. Little sheds, little shanty sheds, welcome stations. A border town in Arizona is seeing the cost of the migrant surge firsthand. The mayor has to use city funds to provide aid and COVID tests to these migrants. The COVID protocols right here, in case you were wondering, all that stuff has been, it's total right wing fake news, right? Totally COVID safe down here on the border. There's a bottle of Purell sitting on top of the station to fill out your paperwork inside of the Biden Welcome Center. The Biden Welcome Center, totally COVID, COVID safe, all right? Definitely COVID safe. To the border crisis now and some staggering numbers. More than 212,000 times Border Patrol agents stopped migrants at the southern border just last month. That's a 21-year high. We've got some action right here. Oh, there we go. Hey, there we go, Sam. Oh, yeah, here we go. There you go. 
Welcome to Benny on the Border. There we go. Do you want to know about open borders today? We got you. We've been out here for 10 minutes. And here we have a large group, 25 young migrants who just went running for the border. Little kids. What's your reaction to the images from the southern border? Get it under control. Get it under control or you have it under control? We will get it under control. You want to see what's really happening on your border, Sam? Here we are. How young are these kids? I got a one-year-old. I think you got some four-year-olds in there. We're just standing here and they go bolting through the opening in the border. There we go. You want to see the true human crisis, you have it there. Little children, little kids. In the middle of the day, it's hot as blazes out here, and they are just running across the border. One border security guard here to stop. This is the absolute state of open borders at your border. This is what open borders looks like. This is what President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris have done to the security in our country. This is human the human cost. Johnny Yuma, what is behind us? So this is an old Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, but the cartels took advantage of the opportunity of a thriving establishment and decided to create an underground tunneling system. And so they uh, came in here and excavated down about 40 feet uh, went underneath.